Hey guys, so today I am going to start going into um, some of the manual settings that you can find. So um, we're going to start off with shutter speed. Shutter speed is really important for photographing movement. So you, to create sort of this background image with the waterfall and all the misty colors, you need to understand this. Uh, so we're going to start right here. So as I mentioned, uh, movement is something that can really make your photos more dynamic. Whether you want to freeze, blur or pan, more on that later. Uh, you need to understand shutter speed. So what is shutter speed? Uh, this is how fast your shutter on your camera is opening and closing to take the photo. It affects two aspects of your photo. One is the amount of light that is hitting your sensor, so light that's, that you're allowing into the camera, and the other is the amount of blur that you're going to have in your photo. Um, shutter speed is measured in fractions of a second, such as one fifth or one five hundredth of a second. To understand this better, we're going to do two exercises. One is to freeze movement and one is to blur movement. Okay, so we're going to start off with the freezing movement. So to freeze movement, we need to use a faster shutter speed. Um, so a faster shutter speed would be around 1 800th or 1 1000th of a second as a good example. Um, it's not set in stone. It depends on how fast your subject is moving. moving. So don't hold me to it. But, um, in a general sense, about 1 800th or 1 1000th is a good place to start. Um, if you're using a phone, most newer phones do actually have these manual settings in them, and these photos that you see are actually taken with, with my phone. Um, I use a Huawei P30 Lite. Obviously, it, this, where you find the settings and everything might change with each phone, so uh, if you're struggling to find them on your phone, then you can give me a shout and I'll try and figure it out for you. Um, just tell me what phone you're using. Um, yeah, so we want to set our, like I say, we want to set our shutter speed to about 1 800 or 1 1000th to start. Um, and for the purposes of this exercise, I think we're going to just do this at a bright time of day because what happens when you change your shutter speed up is that you're also allowing less light into the camera. So your, your photos will be darker. So there are other settings you can use to sort of mitigate this. But for the purposes of this exercise, I just want you to photograph at a bright sort of time of day when you have enough light around you to change the shutter speed up or down, whatever it is. Um, going higher than 1 1,000th is fine, so if you need to make the image darker, you can. To 1 2,000, 1 3,000, you're trying to freeze the movement, and the faster the shutter speed is, the more freezing of movement you're going to get. Um, it gets a bit trickier if you have to go the other way, so if you go 1 800th, 1 500th, it gets, you know, you might, you not, might not be able to freeze the movement anymore. So, like I say, if we have a brighter time of day when you have more light around, then um, we're just going to stick with that for now until until I can get you to understand the other settings as well. Um, so yeah, so for now, uh, like I say, just just try and fiddle around here, and and we'll see uh, what what sort of frozen images you can come up with. Um, and like I say, these were these were taken on a phone that I've these photos. Uh, and I was also throwing the ball to the dog, so <laughs> it was quite an interesting exercise. One thing you are going to notice uh, is that there is a bit of a delay with the with the phone, so um, you might want to anticipate the movement a little bit and take the photo like a second or two before something actually happens. Um, but yeah, that's just something to do with phones and a good reason to start looking at getting a digital camera rather than a phone. Okay. Okay, so blurring movement is basically the opposite of what we've just done. So now you're going to change your shutter speed to, to open and close a lot slower. So we're going to go with about one fourth of a second. Um, so the photos that uh, that you see here, again, I've taken at, at around that speed, one fourth of a second, to create that motion blur. And uh, obviously, again, depends on how fast your subject is moving, but we managed to get that with one fourth of a second here. So two things you're going to notice. One, obviously, now we're going to have the opposite problem. Uh, we're going to have too much light coming in, especially if you try and photograph in a really bright uh, scenario. So the first photo was actually taken indoors. Uh, that will really help because indoors is a lot less bright than outside. Um, and the second one was taken at around half past five, half past six. Um, now we are in lockdown, so I had to get a little bit creative and try this with the hose pipe. Um, uh, obviously, if you have a fountain or something like that, you can try it with that. And this is when you most people want to do this with like a waterfall or or seascape or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is the effect that you want to try and get. Um, 
So, yeah, so like I said, you're going to have too much light uh, if you try and do this in the middle of the day. Uh, again, the other settings can help you sort of change this, but we're not going to go into that now. We're going to try and do this uh, when the lighting allows for it. Um, the other problem you're going to have is camera shake. So when you have a really slow shutter speed, even if you're moving your hand slightly, then it's probably going to show up in your photo. So it is good to use a tripod or something that can stabilize your phone. I mean, get creative with this. You can use a rock. You can use anything around you that will just help you to stabilize while you're taking the photo, um, just to, to kind of minimize the amount of camera shake you have in your, in your photos. Okay. So the photo challenge is like we've spoken about, we're going to try and do one photo freezing and one photo blurring until you kind of understand what shutter speed is all about. Um, you, you need to send me photos for this to get the feedback on it and kind of understand what's happening um, and tell me where you're struggling so that I can help with those problems. Um, so especially when freezing movement, movement try and remember the, the right moment is still important. Um, so you want to try and get it at that moment. This is going to be more difficult with the phone because there is a bit of a delay when, from when you press the button to when the shutter actually opens and closes. So you're going to try and have to anticipate moments happening as well. Um, but yeah, uh, and then like I say, with the with the motion blur or blurring movement, you need to try and stabilize as much as possible and keep your camera as stable as possible. Um, but yeah, try it out. Uh, send me some of your images, and once I have them, then and, and where you're struggling or what you even if you're struggling to find your camera settings or that kind of thing, just just ask. Um, it's not a public thing, it's just between you and me, so I'm quite happy to help where I can. Uh, and yeah, that's the best way to learn. Cool, so uh, as I mentioned, I am now moving across to the website. Um, uh, it should be set up in the next week or so. I am also starting a YouTube channel where there will still be some free content like this, so you can still find it there. Um, but yeah, I'll give you more details on that in the next week or so. Okay, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Cheers!